I the a-hole for refusing to let my sister have my wedding dress? I, female 26, was supposed to get married to my fiancé, male 30, on August 17, 2021. But he passed away suddenly in a car accident a month before. It was so devastating and the pain is pretty much raw for me. I moved back with my parents to get so familiarity and support. My parents have been so helpful, but my twin sister and I aren't close. She's engaged and getting married before the end of the year. She keeps ranting about her future in-laws expecting her to pay so much money for venue and invite many guests. She and her fiance can't afford much and last week she and my mom asked if she can have my wedding dress to wear at her wedding. I was shocked by her request but I didn't react intensely I just politely declined. She and mom started talking about financial struggles and how I potentially can help but I refused and being negative. I explained to her how this dress has personal attachment and the value after they said the wedding didn't happen anyway and I didn't get it to make memories in it, which was hard to hear. And an argument ensued, and my sister called me selfish and unsupportive. Mom still sided with her and said I was wrong and that this dress will only stay hanging in the closet if I didn't do something with it since my fiancé wasn't coming back and I refused to move on, even though it hasn't been that long. Dad is on my side, but I started feeling like maybe I'm not being helpful seeing my sister struggling and needing help. Mom said this might make or break our relationship for years to come, especially when I don't have many people around after this loss. Am I the a-hole for refusing to let her have it? By the way, the dress cost me $2,200 that I saved up on my own. They claim I'm refusing because of the price. And even went as far as to say I must be planning on selling it or expecting them to pay for it. NTA, Jesus Tap Dancing Christ, entitled Mother and Sister here. I can't say anything that won't get me into trouble here. So we'll just reiterate that you are NTA. Stick with that. Let mommy dearest and sister deal with sis wedding dress problems without you. It has been less than a year. I can't. And let this break the relationship with them. Why would you want them in your life after this? Also hide the dress. They would steal it. This. They basically gave you an ultimatum of the dress or them not even a year after you losing your fiance. They absolutely won't be stopped by your no and steal it. You should try to hide it at a friend's house until the wedding is over. Maybe sometime longer. A storage unit will also be a good option, especially since OP says she's moved back in with her parents. It will be a good start to start moving a bunch of her stuff from the house so when she eventually has to move out because of mom and sister have a fit, she's already got a place to put her stuff until she finds her own place. Am I the a-hole for shredding my mother-in-law's list of visitation time? I'm prefacing this by saying that my 32 female husband, male 34, is the only child in the family. His mom always, always wanted a grandbaby, and unfortunately she was never able to become a grandmother as my husband was married before and his ex was unable to have kids. He also tried adoption while single but couldn't. When we found out that we were expecting, my law couldn't believe it. She started visiting daily, we didn't do that in the past, started bringing stuff for the baby and paid a lot of money. My son is now four weeks old. Mother-in-law retired right after he was born and told us she was making herself free and available for her grandbaby. She stayed with me for a whole two weeks and only went home recently. Those two weeks were unbearable, with her being all over me just to get to the baby. I was getting fed up, but I kept my mouth shut and played nice. Then she started complaining about missing her grandbaby and not being able to see him every day and watch him grow. She sent me a list called Visitation Time. In this list, she mentioned all the times we were expecting to bring the baby to her, five days a week, and spending the weekend with her, hours from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., saying she had a bottle ready for feeding and a closet full of diapers. Not just that, but she wants him overnight on Mondays and Wednesdays. 
That's two nights a week. Now as a new mom, I couldn't imagine having my newborn son away from me for that long and especially overnight. I called her to give her my response, which was a no. But she ranted about how I need to loosen up and stop being unreasonably and emotionally too attached. This pissed me off, not gonna lie. So I took her list and used scissors and shredded into pieces. I took a picture of the paper shredded and sent it to her hoping she'd get the message and get how serious I am about my note. Apparently she cried to my husband and the whole family because they claimed I was trying to keep her from her one and only grandbaby after she waited so long to have him. And my husband went on me after coming home from work and called my move childish and pathetic. I still keep getting backlash over this. Now I'm starting to think maybe I'm in the wrong for how I behave and the entire interaction with her. But I was just trying to enforce my boundaries after she brushed them off. Am I the able? NTA, your mother-in-law is crazy. Sometimes you just have to meet people where they are. I mean, this lady isn't just asking to take a newborn away from his mother. She's basically asking to replace his mother. That's crazy enough. But then when mom gets very reasonably and very predictably says no, this mother-in-law keep pushing for it. If anything, you went too easy on her. Stand your ground, make a scene, light the straps on fire, and send a second picture. And then tell your husband to get out of his own ass and support you better. Hell to the no with this mother-in-law. Oh my goodness, no. Mother-in-law, you are being way too emotionally attached to our four-week-old baby. You need to get control of yourself if you want to see this kid at all. Right now, it very much seems that you are only concerned about your own wishes. So that's a hard no. NTA is your baby. She isn't entitled to any control over your baby. You can tell her she isn't allowed to see him at all and she wouldn't be able to do anything about it. Problem is, in this situation, she might get grandparents right because of her son would support her for sure. And she has to spend two weeks looking after the baby. So she can say mom was unable for one reason or another and refusing granny rights to visit after these weeks is a sign of the problem she has. These people are dangerously toxic. Please, OP, you need to have a serious talk with your husband. He can't continue behaving like a big mama's boy. He's the father of your child. 